Machado, who's from an influential and polit politically engaged family in Venezuela, is now a naturalized U.S. citizen. She is also a well-known Spanish and English language actress, which is bad for Trump because it means this story is playing big in both Spanish and English media. The Trump campaign calls Machado's accusations baseless and part of a smear campaign. Megan. Trace, thank you. Joining me now, the former Miss Universe and now Hillary Clinton supporter, Alicia Machado. Alicia, thank you so much for being with us tonight. So, the Trump campaign can't really deny that he harassed you over your weight because it's on camera many times. They seem to be denying the specific charges Hillary leveled, which is the language of Miss Piggy and Miss Housekeeping. Was anybody there to witness when he said those things to you? Well, first, I want to say thank you uh, to give it to me this space and to share my story with Mr. Trump. Then this happened 20 years ago. And, you know, um, I don't need to share this story if I don't believe that person is not the right person than being a president or trying to be a president. This happened 20 years ago. In that moment, he was not the person that you can see now. Maybe he was more just a business guy. And I was a little girl too, with 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And you know, the only thing I want to, to do is to share my story. I think in this moment, just for my, my community. I'm a Latina, I'm from Venezuela, and from Venezuela and, and, and Cuba. Mm -hmm. And you know, I need, I need to share my story. I think I can open a, a few eyes. I can uh, maybe change a few minds then, you know, I don't think this person is the right person then can be a president. You said as a result of what he said to you, you developed an eating disorder, bulimia and anorexia, but you had said publicly uh, at the time that you, you suffered from both of those eating disorders prior to the Miss Universe contest and really, you know, had come no, into... No, no, never, never, ne never. Uh, prior well, than Miss Universe pageant, I never. Well, this is had from this is from May. This is, this is from the Miss Universe. Well, this is from the Washington Post. This that, is, sorry, that well, happened. Let me, let me just tell you. Well, let me just tell you what I'm referring to, and then you and then you respond. Um, the Washington Post from May 16th, 1997, reported this quote from you. I was anorexic and bulimic, but mo almost all of us are. When I was preparing for Miss Universe, it was an obsession for me to not gain weight. By the time I won, I was actually recovering, but the year leading to it, I didn't eat at all, and whatever I ate, I threw up. I weighed 116 pounds when I won, I was skeletal. So it sounds like, without diminishing anything that you went through after Trump, it does sound, sound like you had an eating disorder prior to his comments and prior to winning, no? No, I'm sorry, but that was not true. Maybe in that moment, they, the company, Miss Universe, and, and in a specific, uh, this person, they manipulate a lot of informa information about me. I'm here because I know this person and he's not a good person. That is the point. The point is no more abuse for us, no more abuse for the, for, for the girls. If you gain weight, if you don't look the most beautiful girl in the world, mm -hmm. you have your mind, you have your heart, you are strong, you are intelligent. And, and in the future, that ladies can be a president too. Why not? Listen, I thank you for your time and I congratulate you on your American citizenship. All the best to you. Thank you very much. I'm really proud of that and well, you know, we need to change minds and to respect for all the women in this country. That's it. Take care.